You know that feeling when you're a few days into your intermittent fast and you're wondering, is this even working? Am I getting all those amazing autophagy benefits everyone talks about? Well, what if I told you there are ways to supercharge your fast and kickstart that cellular cleanup process like way faster? Let's dive into five game-changing hacks to force autophagy and maximize your intermittent fasting results. First up, let's talk about your fasting window. A lot of people stick to a 16-8 schedule, which is great. But to really rev up autophagy, you might want to push it a bit. Try extending your fast to 18, 20, or even 24 hours just once or twice a week. Think of it like this. Your body needs time to burn through its glucose stores before it even thinks about starting a deep clean. The longer you can comfortably fast, the more time you give your body to get into that autophagy sweet spot. It's like giving your internal cleaning crew an extended shift to get the job done right. Hack number two, get moving. But timing is everything. Working out in a fasted state is a powerful autophagy booster. When you exercise without fuel in the tank, you create a mild beneficial stress on your cells. Your body responds by saying, okay, we're low on energy, let's get efficient. And it ramps up autophagy to recycle damaged components and create new energy. You don't have to do a hardcore hit session either. A brisk walk, a yoga flow, or some light resistance training is more than enough to send the right signal. All right, hack number three is what you consume during your eating window. This is huge. To support autophagy, you want to load up on what I call autophagy-friendly foods. We're talking things rich in polyphenols and healthy fats. Think green tea, dark chocolate, blueberries, nuts, and extra virgin olive oil. These foods contain compounds that can actually help stimulate the autophagy process, even when you're not fasting. So when you do break your fast, make it count. Don't just undo all your hard work with a pizza. Fuel your body with the good stuff. Number four is a simple one you can do right now. Drink more water and maybe some black coffee or green tea during your fast. Staying hydrated is crucial for all cellular functions, including autophagy. And caffeine? Studies have shown that it can actually trigger autophagy independently. It essentially mimics the effects of fasting on a cellular level, giving you a little extra boost. So that morning cup of black coffee isn't just waking you up. It's helping to clean house. Finally, hack number five, prioritize your sleep. This is the most underrated hack of all. A huge amount of your body's cellular repair and cleanup, including autophagy, happens while you're asleep. It follows your circadian rhythm. If you're skimping on sleep, you're cutting that crucial cleaning window short no matter how long you fast. Aim for seven to nine hours of quality sleep to let your body do its thing. Think of it as the final essential step in the process. Fasting starts it, exercise boosts it, and sleep completes it. So there you have it. Extend your fasting window occasionally. Work out in a fasted state. Eat autophagy-friendly foods. Stay hydrated with coffee or tea.